I love Mondays. So I'm Angela and today as we also continue to get ready for the holidays, uh, what's been coming up for some people is a feeling of not wanting to do what other people ask them to do. So my question to you today is what comes up for you when you bring to mind someone telling you what to do. So it could be as simple as a family member or a partner or a friend giving you advice or telling you, you know, you should do this, this and this. Or it could be even as subtle as being in a yoga class or in an exercise class and somebody's telling you what to do and you're feeling a sense of resistance to that or a sense of I don't really want to do that right now and in terms of relationships think about all those times where you felt like overburdened because your partner has asked you to do something and you really didn't want to do it so this exercise that we're going to do today and the energy transfer that I will be sharing with you is to allow you to see what's going on inside of you when those feelings come up for you as somebody's telling you what to do and you find resistance to it. So before we continue with the energy transfer, let's look at resistance. How does resistance manifest for you when you don't want to do something someone's told you what to do? First off, bring to mind the first memory or image or person that comes to mind when you think I don't really want to do what you're telling me to do right now. So that's usually a really good trigger of all of the emotions that you feel when you think of that memory, that situation or that particular person. And that memory could be in the distant past, early childhood, mid childhood, teenage years or it can be this week. So it doesn't matter, whatever your consciousness presents to you as that person or memory is what is the best thing at this time to focus on. And then as you think of that personal situation, have a look at what your body is doing in that moment. What are you feeling in the body? What are you noticing in your behaviour? And what are you noticing in your language? So there's two forms of language, what you're saying out loud to the other person or not saying to them. Maybe you run away to another room, maybe you get up tight and you don't speak. And there's the second language of what's going on inside. So when you think about that situation or person who's telling you to do something and you don't want to do it, what's the story going on inside of you? My classic example is I call myself a little high priestess sometimes and, and she gets on a high pedestal and she says, how dare you tell me what to do? So I have a very clear personality that comes up when I get resistance to someone telling me what to do. And I hear this kind of dialogue that says, who are you to tell me what to do? And I've been finding it actually that personality of resistance starts to have a dialogue in many parts of my life, not just in relationships, but in situations where I don't feel like I'm actually empowered in the situation. So that same personality may represent come into other parts of your life. So think now about what you would like to create in the moment if you did have a place of peace and a place of being able to be who you truly want to be or being able to do what you wanted to do without anybody censoring that or telling you to change who you are or your behavior. And then when you think of that person who you would like to be, what voice does that person have? Now this is easy to practice in theory when we're talking about it. It's a lot more difficult to practice in the moment. 
So the first step is simply to hear that voice or personality that comes up in the moment when you are resisting someone telling you what to do. So right now we're going to focus on connecting to the heart, connecting to that inner self, that deeper self, and now creating the space of love inside of you to hear that voice of resistance or the personality. And so as you're going through the holiday period, and you may be in stressful uh, relationship situations, or you may be finding that you really don't want to do things that people are telling you to do or asking you to do. Have a listen to what the inner dialogue is. So now just focusing on the chest and breathing in to the chest and then closing the eyes and bringing the gaze of the eyes into the center of the chest. As soon as you bring that internal gaze downwards into the body, you signal to the body that you can go in and that you can go deeper. Continuing to have the eyes closed and ask, how can I listen deeper to my body, to myself? just experiencing the body as you take your gaze inward and talk to the body asking how to go deeper into the body so you can listen and this time as you breathe in Visualize a golden light above the top of the head. So about three feet above the top of the head is a golden light. And this place as well is another place where you can actually view yourself from outside the body. So see that golden light above you. And see the golden light or feel it coming into the crown of the head and all the way down into the heart. So now you have the golden light above the head and that line of light coming down from above the head into the heart. So that line of light comes down into the heart and radiates the heart itself, allowing the heart to expand and to feel its own wisdom. So this time now, as you bring to mind that memory of feeling resistance to others, whatever they are asking or whatever they are doing, Bring to mind the situation or person where you may have experienced that resistance to doing what they ask. And just feel what's going on in the heart center. What's coming up for you and what you notice there. In the heart center is the place for you to witness the feelings of the self, the expression of that inner dialogue and the personalities that you contain inside the vastness of this heart. There is acceptance for all parts of yourself here in the heart. And there's also the wisdom to know why 
you have chosen these personalities or these inner voices. So now asking that any resistance that you feel to others be fully experienced. Asking that you accept any resistance that you have to others and allow yourself to experience any feelings that go along with that resistance. So now as you breathe into the heart, feel the fullness of your heart space and how it actually goes beyond your physical body much further than you can even imagine. Just begin to allow the heart space to fully expand to its full extent. Knowing that it can accept all parts of your personality, even resistance to others. And knowing that once you accept the rebel inside of you or the resistance to others, then you can create the energy and possibility for a new relationship. But first, you create a space to accept your rebel and your resistance to others. And now taking a big breath into the chest, feeling all parts of the chest all the way up to the collarbones, even to the base of the neck. And feeling how the heart light itself also radiates into the face. So you can bring this heart light into specific parts of your expression to others. The heart light that wishes to share and expand the self into your expression through your face. The face you wish to shine to others. Breathing into the fullness of the chest and feeling the heart light shining into the face. And when you're ready, you can take three deep breaths and breathe your energy all the way down the spine and the body, all the way down into the feet. And when you're fully grounded, opening the eyes. And remember that the more time and space, physical space, that you give to breathing into the heart, feeling that heart space and accepting all parts of yourself, the more any of that resistance will naturally dissolve. And then you'll find a new possible relationship with others. You might not take out your grouchiness on them or your rebelliousness on them. Or you just might be in a better mood and that will attract naturally easier, more graceful flowing relationships. So thank you for joining I Love Mondays. Have a blessed holiday week as we come up to the end of this quite adventurous year. And for next Monday, we'll be looking at getting ready for 2015. So join us for 21 Days to Lasting Love, which starts January 1st, which is to bring in love if you have a relationship, enhancing that. And if you don't have a relationship, to really clarify the quality of love that you're attracting and magnetizing into that relationship you're drawing in. Uh, you can join us to on for 21 Days to Lasting Love on www.deepeninglove.com. Dot com sign up now so it's sign hyphen up now and the links on deepeninglove.com as well 
Thanks everyone and have a blessed week.